To a stone carver, this coarse block holds within it a new form waiting to be revealed. To the naked eye, it is solid, but to science, it is a swirling, seemingly chaotic mass of tightly woven energy. Both versions of reality are true, and both require highly trained minds, skilled hands, and the proper tools and workspace to bring their subjects to light. Whether the research seeks to unravel the origins of the universe, targets the internal structure of matter, or examines the genetics of disease, each subject will only reveal its true form to the quickest of minds with the sharpest of tools. In research facilities across Canada, and now in international centers around the globe, the Canada Foundation for Innovation is providing access to the world-class research space and equipment that is the nexus of innovation. The surface of the sun offers a spectacular display of visible energy, but thousands of miles below, in the sun's core, the most mysterious of elementary particles are being produced. They're invisible, and they're called neutrinos. Neutrinos radiate from the sun in uncounted trillions and pass through the Earth at close to the speed of light. Despite their numbers, detecting them and measuring their properties is an extreme challenge to science. Meeting that challenge is the Sudbury Neutrino Observatory, or SNOW. The heart of snow is an immense detection chamber housed two kilometers underground, the deepest ultra-low radiation detector in the world. Its great depth shields the instrument from the background noise of cosmic rays, while its advanced technology makes it the most sensitive neutrino detector on Earth. Soon, the addition of a second detection chamber and a fully equipped data processing laboratory on the surface will create a new long-term research facility known as Snow Lab. Snow Lab will uh, attract the world's leading scientists in the field of particle astrophysics. These large experiments are only carried out by large international collaborations because of their complexity. Uh, bringing these people to Canada will ensure that Canada's leading role in particle astrophysics continues into the uh, uh, future. The snow experiment proved that neutrinos have some small mass and can therefore change form as they pass through the Earth. The magazine Science ranked snow's discovery among the most significant scientific breakthroughs of 2001 and 2002. What then might Snow Lab add to our knowledge of these mysterious particles? The big success of the Sudbury Neutrino Observatory Solving the long-standing problem of missing solar neutrinos, the door is now open for a next generation of experiments to precisely determine how the sun is producing its energy and to explore the dominant blocks of the universe in form of dark matter. All these measurements require new large-scale experiments which can only be performed within international collaborations and Snow Lab is the most obvious place to house these experiments. In recent years, public curiosity over the basic workings of the universe has grown dramatically. Discovering what particles fill and form our universe is one of the exciting new objectives promised by Snow Lab. Just as artists need the studio space and the proper tools to complete their craft, so too do research scientists require the apparatus and facilities to enable their quest for new knowledge.
Canada Foundation for Innovation is very interested in ensuring that Canadians not only have the tools to do their own research, but in our programs to do with international work, we want to be sure that they have the opportunity for collaboration. And this will open many, many doors with other institutions and other parts of the world. By fully participating in large-scale collaborative research programs, Canadian researchers and their international partners continue to steadily reshape the raw materials of observation and theory into new worlds of understanding.